Hello friends, let us discuss in brief about electrocautery. What is this cautery? What are the types? Electrocautery is a method to achieve the hemostasis and to cut the tissue during surgery. It uses intrinsic thermal effect. Intrinsic thermal effect of high frequency electric current. Cautery can be used for coagulation or cutting. It can be used for coagulation. It is achieved by protein denaturation and coagulation necrosis. There is coagulation necrosis. It can cause cutting also. This is due to rapid focal tissue heating causing tissue disintegration. It causes tissue disintegration without any coagulation necrosis. So, cutting cannot cause coagulation. This is not used for coagulation. There are two types of cautery. One is monopolar. Second one is bipolar cautery. This is cautery machine. This is foot pedal to control the cautery. This yellow color is the cutting. This blue color is coagulative. First, we will study about unipolar or monopolar cautery. The electrosurgical unit consists of electrical generator and active electrode where current enters the patient. This is active electrode. Third one is return electrode. This is where current exits. In monopolar cautery, the handle tip is the active electrode. Whereas the grounding pad is the return electrode. Patient's body becomes the part of circuit. In this monopolar cautery, through this generator, electric current passes through active electrode. Then it passes the body. Then it will exit from the return electrode that is cautery plate. Continuous waveform gives cutting current to incise the tissues. Whereas intermittent waveform gives coagulation current. Cutting cautery allows the accurate precise incision. So, it is usually good in relatively avascular area for fine dissection. Only tip should come in contact with the tissue. We should not cut the epidermis and dermis using this cautery. This monopolar cautery can be used for coagulation and cutting. In coagulation mode, hemostasis can be achieved by two methods. One is Obliterative coagulation. This is achieved by direct contact between active electrode and bleeding points. We can directly touch the bleeding points from the active electrode. So, it is suitable for bleeders of less than 0.5 mm size. Second method is coaptive coagulation. This is achieved by holding the edges of a vessel or bleeding tissue with hemostat or forcep, then applying the current to that instrument. It is suitable for larger vessels between 0.5 to 1.5 mm in size. In obliterative coagulation, we can directly touch the bleeders with cautery. In coaptive, we need to catch the vessel with artery or forcep, then we apply the current to those instrument. In this monopolar cautery, we need the ground plate. We need earthling ground plate or this is also called as return plate, diathermy plate, diathermy pad. This cautery plate should not be placed near scars or implant sites. We need to place this cautery plate under a muscular, well vascularized area like buttocks, thigh, cough or back region. Burn injury can develop if plate is not properly in contact with patient or there is improper or broken connections or if we are using high voltage and high power setting. Next type is bipolar cautery. As name suggests, there are two ends. In this, there are two tips. One acts as active electrode, one more acts as return electrode. 
bipolar cautery has two tips one acts as active electrode and another tip acts as return electrode with a circuit between tips of a forcep with a grass tissue in between completing the circuit in this current doesn't pass through body of the patient in this bipolar cautery one end acts as active electrode another end acts as return electrode there is circuit formation between these two ends so in this patient is not a part of circuit cautery plate is not required and this bipolar cautery can be used only for coagulation it can seal vessels up to 7 mm size if tips of bipolar cautery come in contact with each other without any tissue in between it can create a short circuit in monopolar cautery there is single end which acts as active electrode whereas the ground plate acts as return electrode and patient will be the part of circuit in bipolar cautery there are two tips one acts as active electrode and another acts as return electrode creating a circuit between those two tips there is something called as tate's rule tate's rule this means only the surgeon holding the cautery should control the foot pedal only the surgeon holding the cautery should control the foot pedal friends if you like this video please click like button and share this video to your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos thank you